So with Final Cut Pro X, it's a different way of thinking about how you edit and the mechanics of editing. So in this course, I'm going to showcase all the tools and tips and shortcuts for how you can become a fluent and efficient editor when navigating Final Cut Pro X. So let's start with the tools. So once you open up Final Cut Pro X and you have a project loaded, you can use the tools right here. And we have all of these tools at our disposal. And we use all of these except for the hand tool pretty much. We rarely use the hand tool. Uh, most of the other ones are the tools that we're going to focus on. So for the selection tool, if you just click A, you can uh, move clips. If you just grab the edges of it, you can go ahead and move them and everything behind it will ripple with that movement. Uh, also up here, you can do it right here in a connected storyline like this. Uh, and whenever you're moving uh, shots around, they'll also switch around like that. Now, if you switch to the trim tool, the trim tool responds differently. We can go ahead and um, we can still use that same A, that same selection movement whenever we're selecting the sides, or we can zoom in and we can actually select the middle range and choose the in and out points between these two clips. So that's really helpful. Also, we can uh, click on the actual clip and uh, change the position of the beginning and the ending points. So say we wanted it to end right here, we can just move that and we can see both a before and after of that shot. So that's really helpful. Also, you can see here, I can extend the clip this way. Um, you can just change the, um, the shots just like that. So the trim tool becomes really handy whenever you wanna slip in and edit or do a roll, it becomes really efficient. Then we have the position tool. The position tool acts very similar to the selection tool except that it also has overriding capabilities. So if I drag this edge here, you can see that it'll leave a gap in its space without rippling or moving everything behind it. So that's really efficient. Also, whenever we're working in this magnetic timeline, I can do the same here. And instead of moving everything or rippling it behind it, it just keeps everything in place and just selects just that clip. Um, now, if I'm moving clips around, if I was to drag this clip over, instead of it, um, switching spaces, it actually overwrites that area. So here you cut, it cuts the clip right in half doing that and leaving a gap in between where it left off. So just know that the position tool is a little bit more destructive than the selection tool. Then we're gonna go to the range selection and here you can set a range. So uh, this is helpful for a few different options. Whenever you wanna export a video, you can actually select your range and extend that and then just go up to your share icon and click master file. And whenever you export it, you can see that it's got a selection instead of the entire um, length of the, of the film. So range is really helpful there. Also, whenever we're working with audio, you can make a selection of the audio. And then instead of adding keyframes, you can just select the waveform. And once you adjust it, you can see that it makes keyframe points on both sides. Range tool is helpful for a lot of different um, areas and we're going to go over that in depth later as well. For the blade tool, it does what it says it does. It just cuts clips in areas just like that. Um, if you are editing and you want to make a quick cut without using the blade tool, you can use the blade function, which is command B and it will uh, cut whatever's in the primary storyline unless you have something else selected. So say I had this clip selected and I click command B, it'll cut that right there. I can have this uh, connected storyline selected and do command B and it cuts it there as well. So that's a, a way to do that. Also, if you want to make a cut across all of the different roles that we have here. So I want to cut this adjustment layer, this clip, the magnetic timeline and this audio. I'm just going to select my playhead and do command shift B and that will also cut everything like that. Then the last one I want to go over is zoom. That just um, allows you to zoom in to a selection. You can go ahead and zoom out. So if you uh, click, each click in is going to zoom in. Hold down option and click, it zooms out. If you want this whole entire timeline in your field of view to uh, fill this space here, then you're just going to use the shortcut Shift Z. And that's really helpful whenever you've zoomed in a lot and you're like, I want to see everything back, uh, Shift Z. 
or if you're zoomed really far away, Shift-Z brings it into view for you. So those are some really helpful tips. Mm -hmm.